today I'm going to be taking a look at the superhero immortalized on the silver screen by Ben Affleck. That's right, Daredevil. Okay, so Bullseye and Daredevil for Atomic Mass Games Marvel Crisis Protocol. This box contains the two miniatures, their bases and their stat cards along with some tactic cards and tokens. Here we have a bit of a blurb about Matt and Bullseye where they come from and where they're going to. So first off we have the Read This First guide explaining that you need to assemble these models. So Bullseye, fairly standard. Arms, legs, torso, head and guff for under his feet. Uh, Matt is more or less the same, a little more extravagant with the uh, weapon arm and standing on what appears to be a stained glass window, which obviously is, is very key for uh, everybody's favourite blind Catholic. After all he's seen, still a believer. We get four random bases, along with some coffee cups and beer bottles. Standard 40 mil size, I think they are, maybe 35. So they're nice. Two sprues. We have a single sprue for bullseye. And then a larger sprue to account for Matt's massive whip slash nunchuck slash tonfa slash whatever else he needs it to be. It does just look like somebody's broke out the silly string and gone mental. It's everywhere. Which is really nice. Head attempting to escape. So... cards then. I have a set of specific tokens. I'm assuming those are for Matt. We have cruelty, climbing gear and acute senses. Tactics cards. So acute senses unaffiliated. Um, they can spend one part to play the card. Enemies do not benefit from stealth. And this character ignores line of sight when attacking. Climbing gear, again unaffiliated, three power to play, and the character may spend three um, to gain wall crawler until the end of the round. They immediately advance short. And finally, cruelty. This is the criminal syndicate. So, if an allied character damages an enemy character with an attack during the activation. After the attack is resolved, you can spend two power to play this card. The attacking character immediately performs the attack listed above the targeted damaged character. Oh, I missed that. The above um, target. Fair enough. This attack can only have dice added to the attack from crits, and the character cannot modify its attack dice during this. So it is a... Uh, strength 5 attack. Fair enough. Twist the knife. Hmm. Delightful. Good long range on it as well. Interesting that Bullseye gets the Criminal Syndicate, but Matt isn't getting the Defenders. Then we have Bullseye with his throwing knives. I would say he's a medium level character. He's not through the roof. It's quite good. Hit and run. I never miss a parting shot. So I never miss as good after an attack is made. If the uh, no damage was dealt at the resolution, this character may use this superpower. Uh, the, the character suffers one damage, which then means they get one power. Um, so potentially they could 
try again with something else. And Daredevil, Strike, Button Hook, and Devil's Deliverance. Very similar, faster than Bullseye. But a bit pricier when defending against um, physical or. I think those are mystical attacks. The character adds blanks in its defense dice roll to total successes. Nice. Oh, it's not. It's. Um, Beam attacks, not mystical. After an attack targeting the character is resolved, they can use this superpower if the attacker is within two, the character will make a strike against them. So you need to take them out from distance. Obviously, they both have their battered sides as well. As I would expect, because the pair of them are forever kicking the toys out of each other. So let's see what they look like built. Okay, so. We're back and we have Bullseye and Daredevil built. So checking out Bullseye first. Very simple build. Nothing particularly difficult or trying with it. And a nice simple pose as well. He's uh, just standing there calling out his opponent and letting them know exactly what he's going to do. As you can see, slight gap on the neck don't think it would have fit any other way to hide that. Might have been able to rotate it slightly because his um, his suit has some very harsh black and white lines. That won't be noticeable when I paint it. Uh, if I was particularly worried, I might fill it in, but I'm not. Nice bit of rubble, I suppose, on the base. Um, quite a lot of rubble kicking around with... Marvel Crisis Protocol, awful lot of things going to smash into pieces. I think I'd prefer more trash, to be perfectly honest. Um, not all of these people, Bullseye included, explode the world around them. Some of them do, but not all. So maybe, you know, have the occasional crumpled cardboard box or tin cans or um, trash can lid or whatever it happens to be. It's New York, bag of rubbish and rats the size of your fist. Um, any of those. But yeah, overall, nice model. Bringing in Matthew. He of the incredible whippy stick. Again, really nice model. Fantastic pose. Just screams Daredevil. And that, you see that, there we go. It's very cartoon slash comic like with it wrapping around him in weird and unusual ways before launching off to hit somebody in the eyeball. Um, really, really nice model. Again, yeah, poor, poor church has been destroyed. Um, that goes together very nicely. It has a hexagon on the inside. Um, two inset hexes, actually which act as the key. There's barely any bite on them at all. So you're better off gluing one half to the base and then gluing the other half in so that you've got the actual flush baseline because you can have them slightly tilted. Uh, so it's a little weird. It's They knew there should be a key in there, but then they didn't really go far enough. Uh, and there is enough depth in it to make that a little easier, uh, especially because you probably want to glue Matty on it first so that you know where he's going to be and his centre of gravity. I just guesstimated where he would end up and it wasn't far off the centre, so he's not bad. Um, but yeah, terrific. And I love the fact that we've gone for a very dynamic daredevil and then Bullseye is much more restrained in his pose uh, as a pair of antagonists. I quite like that. I'd like that they're not both going over the top. Um, they're more in keeping with their characters. So there we have it. Daredevil and Bullseye uh, from Atomic Mass Games. A terrific duo and I really like the contrast in the characters. Bullseye being very assured and uh, possibly still motionless waiting for the moment to strike. Whereas Daredevil is that more uh, flamboyant action manoeuvre Daredevil 
look. So yeah, uh, I think they're a really, really nice set together, uh, which should make for interesting paint jobs on them as well, if people are planning on just getting them to paint up. Or if you're planning on using them in Marvel Crisis Protocol, uh, why not drop a, a line below and say who they're going to be joining? Will you be attempting to make the Defenders or will you be going another direction with them? I'm going to move on, folks. Until then, bye bye. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.